In this video, I'm going to show you a quick way to add bokeh to your photos. Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com, and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a quick and easy bokeh effect to your photos. Now, bokeh, as you can see in this particular image, are these little out of focus little circles in the back. Uh, if you have a uh, lens that has a very low aperture, uh, like an f1.8 or f1.4, uh, and you happen to shoot a, a subject like this, and you have something in the background that maybe your lights or something along those lines, uh, you will notice that the uh, background will be kind of kind of blurred out like this, and it'll have this little bokeh effect. It's a really awesome effect to really add some creative interest to your photos. But in this particular photo, I don't have enough. I want more of a bokeh effect. So you can actually do this in camera, or you can actually do this in post processing, and that's what I'm going to show you today. Now, Sleek Lens actually has a collection called the Let's Bokeh Collection, as you can see here. And what it includes is 86 bokeh actions that you can apply to your photos, but it also has 125 overlays that you can apply to your photos. And that's what I'm going to be using today. So I'm actually going to pull up the Let's Bokeh Collection here, and I have all of these overlays that I can choose from. As you can see here, I'm going to scroll through a couple of them, and you can see that it's just different colors, different variations of bokeh. Uh, but the one that I'm actually going to use is the number four here. So you can see here, right here, we have a nice little bokeh effect. And I'm, I chose this one because our model in this particular image is right in the center. And so this bokeh overlay will actually highlight around her. So it's kind of like a, a bokeh vignette in a way. So I'm going to drag this onto my document here. And as you can see, these are high quality overlays. So I can stretch these uh, and make them very, very large to kind of fill the screen here. And all I'm doing is just covering the entire area of the photo just like that. And I'm going to click enter to apply that change. And the way I'm going to have this blend into my screen a little bit or to, to my underlying image is actually use a blending mode. I'm going to use the screen blending mode. So I'm going to go over here to the top left section of my layers panel and I'm going to click on the drop down and I'm going to choose screen. Now what screen does is actually get rid of the sort of darker elements of the photo. And so you can see here if I move this around, uh, I have pretty much only the light portion showing, but the bokeh is actually coming through very, very, very nicely. Uh, we do have a couple little things that we need to take care of. Uh, some of you might like the effect where the bokeh is kind of over the person, but I actually want it to be just the background area, maybe get rid of this. So the way I'm going to do that is actually create a layer mask. So I'm going to go down to the bottom right and click the layer mask button. That's going to apply a white layer mask. So if I have a white layer mask, I actually need a black brush to paint away the bokeh. So I'm going to take my brush, make it a very large brush, and I'm just going to paint with black over the areas that I want to get rid of. So just like this, I'm going to get rid of this section here, just right in front of her. Uh, and I'm also going to go over to the shoulder area. And what you want to do is make sure that you get, if you, if you have like a little circle like this, uh, you want to get rid of the entire circle. You don't want it to be like that because it kind of looks a little unnatural. So get rid of the whole area and make it blend in a little bit more. Uh, we can actually lessen some of this if we want to. Uh, we can actually take down the opacity of the layers. So we can lessen the intensity of it, but I actually like it to be very bright. So there we go. We quickly added the bokeh to the background. Uh, one thing we can take it just a tiny bit further and try to help it match the, the, the warmth of the lights that she's actually holding. So I can create a hue saturation layer. So I'm gonna go down here, create a hue saturation layer, and I'm gonna clip it to our uh, bokeh layer. So the way I'm gonna do that is hold Alt or Option on your keyboard. And you can see if you hold Alt or Option and hover between two layers, we get a little uh, clipping box here and I'm just gonna click there. And now any changes that I make will only affect the bokeh layer there. So now I can change the color. I can click Colorize here. And as you can see, as soon as I click Colorize, I start changing the color of the, uh, of the light. So I can go to the warmer side, maybe saturate it a little bit maybe decrease the brightness, increase the, the, the lightness there, and just kind of play around with the color. So I'm going to say I like that uh, that as well. It kind of blends in with the foreground lights. But if I wanted to get a little artsy with it, I can actually make a complementary color. So I can kind of go down towards more of the blues and uh, kind of play with the blues if I wanted to. And as you can see, it starts to create a little uh, complementary color effect. Now one thing I did notice that when I change the color I can actually see this bokeh here that kind of is right in front of her face. So I can go right back down to my layer mask and quickly paint that away with a black brush 
and there we go. So as you can see, that's how quick and easy it was to add a bokeh effect to the photo using the Sleek Lens bokeh overlays. If you want to check out more of that, link in the description down below, and you can see more of the collection there. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.